Trump breaks fundraising record after guilty verdict. Donald Trump's re-election campaign has reportedly raised over $34 million since the former U.S. president was found guilty on 34 felony counts in New York in a trial he denounced as a politically motivated witch hunt. A Manhattan jury agreed with prosecutors that Trump's reimbursements to his lawyer for an alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels amounted to fraudulent bookkeeping and 2016 election interference. I was convicted in a rigged political witch hunt trial. I did nothing wrong. A fundraising email sent by Trump's campaign after the verdict was announced. But with your support at this moment in history, we will win back the White House and make America great again. A statement from the Trump campaign proved a prediction by Republican strategist Matthew Bartlett that the GOP base would donate a million dollars for every count of the New York indictment, correct, if not conservative. From just minutes after the sham trial verdict was announced, our digital fundraising system was overwhelmed with support and despite temporary delays online because of the amount of traffic. President Trump raised $34.8 million from small dollar donors, campaign advisors Chris Lasivita and Susie Wiles announced. Not only was the amount historic, but 29.7% of yesterday's donors were brand new to the WinRed platform. They added, Crooked Joe Biden and the Democrats, with their election interference political witch hunt, have awakened the MAGA movement like never before. The $34.8 million haul was nearly double the biggest ever recorded by the Trump campaign, Wiles and Lasivita added. WinRed was so overwhelmed by the new donors that it briefly crashed on Thursday evening. According to Politico, Trump had only $49 million in cash at the end of April compared to President Joe Biden's $84 million war chest. U.S. laws limit the maximum individual contributions to a campaign to $3,300. Drones have been spotted over the territory of Russia's Republic of Tatarstan. An air raid warning has been issued, the airspace over the Republic's capital Kazan has been closed and the evacuation of employees of several businesses in the city is ongoing. Distance from Ukraine, 1,200 kilometers, Russian media write that explosions were heard in the area of the Kazanorgsens plant. All workers were evacuated. Meanwhile, a siren sounds in Kazan. The planes that flew to the city had to be turned around. The Russian Federal Air Transport Agency reported that temporary restrictions on the arrival and takeoff of aircraft have been introduced at the airports of Kazan and Nizhnekamsk. Propagandists did not specify the reason for this, however, Russian telegram channels are publishing photos and videos of drones in the sky over Tatarstan. The telegram channels do not specify where exactly the drones were seen. But Russia manufactures Shahid Kamikaze drones in Tatarstan. Russia's Alabuga Special Economic Zone in Tatarstan is located more than 200 kilometers east of Kazan, near the cities of Yelabuga and Nizhnekamsk. In the summer of 2023, it was reported that several hundred students at Alabuga Polytechnic College in Tatarstan were involved in the assembly of Iranian Shahid drones. The White House released a satellite image in June 2023 that showed the construction of a plant in the Russian Republic of Tatarstan to produce Iranian kamikaze drones which Russia is using to destroy civilian infrastructure facilities in Ukraine. <laughs> Не сильно, но будет. Мне это бесит, башка раскалывается. Беспилотник летит в сторону Руксин. Сейчас был один бабах, второй летит. Смотрите. Охуеть. Смотри, уже летит. Смотрите, что я не знаю, что будет. Пиздец. Вот с той стороны получается. Летел. Он летит. Смотрите, что. Древняя Воронина.